Hello friends, welcome back, and today I'm in Luminar Neo. I love editing, but sometimes I just wanna jump into an edit, make the photo pop, and move on. Well, what if I told you there was a two-step process that could get you 80 to 90% of the way through your edit? Well, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. This is very simple. It works on every photo. It can be a dark photo, it can be a light photo, it can need adjustments to colors, it can need adjustments to light. Speaking of which, the two things that I'm always talking about when I'm editing photos and making these videos is adjusting light and color. This two-step process does that so well. I think you're gonna love it. Let me show you an example and explain what I'm talking about. Here's a photo, and with two simple adjustments, I turned it into that, literally two clicks. 80% of the way done. Sure, it needs a little bit of customization, but look how far I came. One, two, two steps. Here's another example, and that's why I said it works in every photo, because the last one was the cityscape. It'll also work on street scenes and, of course, landscapes. Don't necessarily recommend this for portraits, but this landscape, there's the base photo and there's the edited photo, 80% of the way there, two simple steps. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, if you've been here any length of time, you know that I love using HDR and merging multiple exposures and create, taking those bracket sets and moving them into HDR merge and building this beautiful, richly detailed, nice distribution of light across the image, all that stuff that I talk about, and it works so well but it also works on single exposures. And that's one of the beautiful things about Luminar Neo's HDR Merge. And that's what I'm doing here because it can take a photo like that and all you do is you drag it over here to the HDR Merge window and I now have that photo. Much more balanced light, but I'm missing the color pop and this is step two. Step one, drag it to HDR Merge. Step two, take advantage of some presets. Now, I released a free preset pack last week, which I'll be using in this video. You can check that out at the link down below. It's free to anyone that subscribes to my newsletter. It's called Summer Moods. In addition to joining my newsletter, you pick up a multitude of other presets, some eBooks, a lot of other things, but I'm just talking about this one preset pack here because it's so effective. Again, it's called Summer Moods. It'll reside in your preset category under purchased, but as you can see, you can get some beautiful color looks with just one click. These are me just hovering over it. I think I used Summer 2 on this one, but look at all these different looks that you can have on your images with, again, just a click, right? One click HDR merge, one click to pick up that look. That's Summer 8. I mean, wow. Now, do you want to customize it further? Yeah, maybe so. Maybe you want to pull down a little bit of some of these colors, but you get this beautiful 80% of the way done uh, edit in two steps. I mean, look at that. Honestly, if you look at the before and the after, Massive, massive difference, two clicks. I'm gonna show you the same thing on that landscape. So here's the original unedited photo. There it is after HDR merge. Notice that the tones are so much better overall. It's still a nice distribution of light, but it's not overdone. And one of the great things about HDR merge in Luminar is it doesn't create this crazy over the top, highly detailed, what I jokingly call HDR highly disastrous result it makes a beautiful, nice, high dynamic range image. But hey, I still need to pop the light and the color a little bit. That's where my Summer Moods collection comes in really handy. Here we go, Summer 1. I'll just hover over these so you can get a visual on what these are gonna look like on your images. Now, are these colors intense? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I never shy away from having intense colors, but it's super easy to adjust. Look at that, nice and soft. It, it's an HDR, single exposure, but it's not all crunchy like a lot of HDRs. I like that, but if the colors are too much, guess what? Pull that down a little bit, reduce that intensity, and there you go, I'm at 75, and look at that before and after, before and after. That is not the unedited raw file, that is the HDR merged image, and there it is with a preset, a gorgeous, beautiful image, two clicks, and that's why I'm saying, I use this all the time, two simple clicks, and my photos are looking gorgeous. Let me show you one more time these before and afters. Unedited original file, Two clicks, HDR merge, preset, right? Unedited original file, two clicks, HDR merge, preset. That's a simple workflow. I use this all the time. It saves me a ton of time. It'll save you a lot of time, but more importantly, you'll get beautiful results without spending too much time on it. I hope this helps. It's kind of a quick tip. Check it out. Check the link down below to get those free presets. Play with that HDR merge on your single exposures if you haven't been doing it. And let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I'll be back really soon with more videos. You guys take care, and until next time, adios.